Hey guys, welcome back to a new video uh, and today we're going to be installing a dash cam. So the dash cam I got is called Bava and uh, this was recommended by one of my uh, members from the UA squad and um, so shout out to Via for this and um, let's go ahead and open this up and see how it works and see how everything works when it's installed. So let's get right into it. has for us to pull it out, I believe. That's such a nice head, I don't want to ruin this. Uh, let's go ahead and put back where it belonged. Here, and this is the... Oh, this is the front camera mount. Oh, that's the only choice we have. Uh, this is the camera, what is this? Here? Ah, here we go. Ah, here's the actual camera. Does this go like this? Oh, it's magnetic. Oh, that's cool. It's, it's magnetic. So this could go in the front for sure. Just rotate like this. Nice. There's an opening in here. Oh, this is where the SD card goes. Oh, interesting. And that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see. Oh, look, a prime tool. That's what we needed. Um, so this is the cable. I believe this one goes right here. For this one right here. This one has to be charged, doesn't it? Huh? So, oh, cool. I want to move it easily. Um, it goes like this. Uh, looks like it goes like this. Okay. This one is probably going to connect somewhere else. Well, there's switches for these, and then I don't know what this is. So, this right here, every I'm pretty sure like every car has this already. I'm pretty sure your like uh, new generation car already has a USB part built in for this. So, Pretty sure you need one of these. Um, they already have one, you probably don't need this one that's providing. And then wire clips and then double side tape circular. So let's see, and this is the rear camera too. And this one, this one could potentially connect with which one? Oh, these connect with each other, probably. Oh yeah, they do. So these two connect with each other, while this one probably connects with this one. Yeah, there you go. So this one will go towards the dash, and this wiring should be going for um, the top portion of the ceiling. Alrighty, so um, I, I figured out a way to do the wirings with the ceiling and the bottom portion of the panel for the passenger side. So um, the passenger side basically, or let's let me start it off. Ugh. Okay, so we come up here, this is where the dash cam is. So these both wires go through here. So basically it just goes through here. It goes under this panel. You can just tuck it in. You don't really have to take it off completely. And then it goes through here and then into here. Uh, so the one that goes to the USB uh, goes through down here. And then it goes down here to here to here. And then I follow this wire where it goes under the seat. And then hold on. And then I had it to go under here where it goes with all my airlines and everything like that. So it goes through that hole. Not sure if you guys can see it. That hole down there. You guys, you guys could take that panel off for sure. So, and then ran the line through here into there and then into here. The reason why I'm not doing this one is because um, this one doesn't work. Uh, the connector always ends up um, 
being unplugged regardless if I try to put everything back together properly. So, and it doesn't really work anymore. So, um, and I need these buttons out so I could take up, take pictures or start, start recording. And then, and then it just sits right here. I mean, I'm not too bothered by it. Um, as long as the wire is sitting tightly right there, then I'm all good for that. And then let's talk about the wiring for the camera for front and then the rear. So let me get out of the car. Basically you don't, you just take off the weather strips and then you just tuck it in through here. That's it. All right, so let me go on this side. Yeah, you just mainly just tuck it un under there. And that's pretty much, it's very, very simple. And then come to this section, Hold on. come to this section. And then you just do that all the way there. You take off that panel and then you're just gonna line everything up. So I'll show you guys the final results of the wiring and everything like that, and then I'm trying to get this thing turned on. Alrighty, so now that, you know, dash cam is on, you just press connect. Once you connect to the Wi-Fi of its own, you can change the password and everything like that. So you just press connect and it's live feed right now. And um, as stated on the instructions right here, it says dash cam. Oh, let's see if you guys can read that. You guys can see that. Dash cam will automatically enter record mode after powered on. Wi Fi connection to the app is not required. So basically, uh, it's stating that once the SD card is in there, it's automatically recording for itself. So if you know, there was an accident or you got into an accident, you can take out the SD card, which is back here. And then just a start and i hope you guys really really enjoyed this install and i hope this is actually going to be helping you guys in the long run 